Hey y'all, what's up? So I'm here to do a foundation application tutorial using the Smashbox Studio Skin. Put the link below to the review I did previously towards this video so you can see how I like it. So we're gonna start as always with my Future E Moisturizer by L'Oreal. Love this stuff. I recently purchased this. It's called I'm, I'm Tired. Get it? I'm Tired. <laughs> It's by Hard Candy, and it's basically to depuff your um, bags on your eyes and stuff like that. Um, I don't really have a serious issue with that. Um, I know I just woke up, so I just think it's a natural thing. But I wanted to try it out just to see what it does. So I've been using this for about three days now. I'm going to apply this under my eyes. I'm going to apply Clinique Pore Refining Solution. And I like this stuff now. I didn't really like it at first. But I am getting used to it, and I just really put it in certain areas of my face. A lot of times, like, I went without makeup for, like, two, three weeks. I think I put that on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I just didn't care. <laughs> I just wore this with some um, primer on my face, and that was it. I didn't even put any makeup on. Previously, we was using Smashbox Photo Light Primer, but I wanted to go ahead and try the, um, what's this one? Photo Finish with no light, it's not photo light, it's just photo finish primer. It's just a different consistency, um, different looking formula, just to see the difference. And I used this with my Revlon Color Stay the other day, and I love how velvety smooth it applied my foundation. So I think I like this better than photo light. So I'm just gonna apply this lightly all over my face. And I take the studio. Skin foundation. I'm just gonna apply about two pumps like this on it. I probably don't need this much because, like I said in my other video, it's really full coverage. So I don't like full coverage. As you can see, usually I go out just like this. I don't care. But um, I'm gonna apply just as I guess as minimal as I want to put on. I'm gonna use a foundation brush. I'm just gonna go in a dotting motion. on right now I'm gonna go ahead and add one of my favorite concealers which is by black opal I'm gonna mix beautiful bronze which is my skin color it's a little deeper than my skin as you can see it's more orange than my skin tone but I'm gonna add beautiful bronze and I'm gonna add toast together to get the perfect highlight mixture that I want and I'm gonna put that right under my eyes top and bottom liner off camera. I'm not gonna worry about my eyebrows because I have an eyebrow tutorial after this, so stay tuned for that video. Next, I'm gonna take my MAC Skin Finish in Deep Dark. Um, I'm sorry, dark, they don't sell deep dark no more. I'm gonna take a powder puff like this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blush that on. I, I found out that this way of highlighting this with this foundation works the best when it's a powder puff instead of blending it out because the foundation dries very matte. So sometimes when you blend it out, you can get an ashy, ghostly effect or just just a look that you don't really want to go for. So it's better on to just blot it on with a powder puff. KB Productions. I'm falling. 
Next, I'm taking Ebony Bronze for my contour. I ordered the Sleek Contour Palette, y'all. I ended up ordering it, so I'm so excited. I think it came today. I got a letter in my mailbox saying a package was in the office, so I'm excited. Take a kabuki brush and take one of my favorite powders, which is the Clinique Perfectly Real. And I'm just gonna put this to blend out everything else on my face. And just for the sake of the video, I'm going ahead and add this is my favorite. I'm really, really feeling these Revlon lipsticks. These are the lip butters. I love them so much. And this is in brown sugar. So, um, don't mind the eyebrows. It's strictly a foundation tutorial. So, this is how I apply it and everything I do with it. Now, I wouldn't put all this stuff on every day. I just do my, um, probably just my skin finish and my powder. I probably won't do no contour or nothing like that. But since I want to show you exactly how I did my face in the last video, I want to do everything like I did the first time. This is it. And I hope you enjoy. Once again, don't mind the eyebrows. I'm going to get them straight, okay? In the next video, because I got some stuff that I want to show you. Um, what's is a product, and I'm going to use it. So just stay tuned for my um, eyebrow tutorial. And that's it. And I have pictures, and I highlight y'all later.